Hey guys, Dave here. I'm at the Sydney Terminal. We've got some 2025 Freightliner Cascadias here at the terminal. We've got a dozen or so of them. They're getting them ready to roll out. Let's take a look and see what's new. Here we go, the 2025 Freightliner Cascadias. Let's check out some of the most obvious things that are new that are gonna jump out at you right off the bat. First off, we've got fuel tank covers. Um, your stairs are no longer gonna be open-ended. It's all gonna be filled in. This is an EPA standard as of next year and we're getting a jump on it with our new 2025s. So you don't see the fuel tank. You're gonna fuel from back here um, and this is all gonna stay covered and it's gonna, it's gonna do a lot for fuel mileage. Um, that's the big thing that they're pushing for for next year is fuel mileage. So you've got your cab extenders all the way down you've got your fuel covers coming all the way back you're gonna to have to stand back here and fuel the other thing back here that's brand new if you look up top you're gonna to have a extender over the cowling which that is also an EPA standard for fuel mileage um, again we're gonna be a year ahead of that so we're getting a jump on this stuff early and as you notice here you've got plastic wrapped cords that are gonna keep these bound so you're not gonna have the big jumble of cords intertwining and getting tangled up. They're gonna stay nice and neatly coiled uh, all the way down pretty much till they get connected to the trailer. There's disc brakes in the front that we've had for a while. Now we have all wheel disc brakes. All your drive tires are going to have disc brakes as well as your steer tires. The rest of this is going to be just as familiar as what you're already used to. Let's take a look inside. In the 2025 Freightliner Cascadias, you have automatic door locks uh, here on the driver's side where you can actually lock and unlock your doors instead of having to get out and go over and manually do it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, a lot of this stuff is gonna be pretty much the same. You've got your digital screens here. Um, you got your speedometer and your following distance and a lot of your normal stuff here. Um, and then you've got your secondary screen over here that handles your uh, amp the temperature, the air conditioning, heating, your radio, things like that. And then they've got this new mount that they're using for the new iPads that they're putting in, which is really nice. It's very stationary, seems very sturdy. We'll, we'll see how it handles over time, but um, it's not magnetized. It's actually locked in. And uh, there's a key here, and then there's a flip thing down here to disconnect it. But, uh, but that'll be a new setup. Other than that, it's, it's pretty much the same standard uh, iPad that we're used to. CE drivers will know that we have the iPad in here. It's a customized, it's a customized thing uh, specifically with Continental that Continental's designed. Has our, our load assignments on there, navigation, weather, um, and you also you, you use it to uh, do your duty status. You, your, it's also your logs. I'm really liking the amount of storage we have in here. You've got cabinets here. You've got a big open space here. If you've got a co-driver uh, or a trainee with you, there's room for them on both sides here. Pretty decent things. Um, I would think a refrigerator would go good here or this could be good for like clothing storage. This is, this is really nice.
there you go. Some of the same, and some changes. Here's your 2025 Freightliner Cascade.